All right, section 1.5, exponential functions. And in this episode, we will be talking about the number e and how important it is in calculus and with exponential functions. Now, the number e is a number by itself in mathematics, and it is approximately equal to 2.71828. And that is correct to five decimal places. And when we have... When we use e as a base for an exponential function, like so, this bad boy right here is called the natural exponential, natural exponential function, awesome sauce. And it is important. And before I continue, I just want to show you really quick. I didn't. I don't think I showed this in the last video. Um, the graphs of exponential functions. They all conveniently pass through one, zero, one. And let's just say this is the graph of. That's really bad. But two to the x, okay? And then if we increase the base, if the base increases in size, the graph will become a little steeper. So maybe something like this for 3 to the x. And e to the x is kind of in the middle between these two, right? Because it's 2.7. So it actually would be more closer to here, but whatever e to the x. Okay. And this graph right here, this exponential graph is kind of important in calculus because when we draw a tangent line, a line tangent to the point 0, 1 of these graphs, we get lines of different slopes. Okay. And the line tangent to e to the x at 0, 1 happens to be the line y is equal to x. So it has a slope of 1, okay? When you do rise over run, slope of 1. And it it is important, and you'll learn more about that later. This is kind of a preview for that. I'm just showing you why e is important in calculus. And of course, um, like other exponential graphs, we can manipulate the graph of e to the x okay my x and y axis and my origin is here and what if we have what if we have e to the negative x well hold on let me draw one or one increment because all exponentials go there if they're normal exponentials e to the negative one is well let me draw first e to the x. Let's just say this is e to the x. e to the negative x, on the other hand, is just the opposite. And notice, there's a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. So this is e to the negative x, and this works for really any exponential any exponential function. What about one half e to the negative x? One half e to the negative x is just a vertical compression. So we're going down by a factor of 0.5. So this is 0 0.5, and this is e, or one half e to the negative x. We're just going to keep building on this e to the negative x thing. And then what happens when we subtract 1 from all of this? We get, what's a good color? We get, this will be, this will be negative 0 0.5. And since, if we subtract 1, we're just essentially moving the entire graph down one whole unit, so. There is 1 half e to the negative x minus that whole thing minus 1. 
So you can do this, these graph transformations with any exponential graph, any exponential function. I'm just showing all this to you with e to the x, our, our natural exponential function. And of course, you can think of the natural exponential function. You can think of it like this. You can think of e, f of x is equal to e to the x. You can think of it this as a 2.7, was it 2.718? to the x, about, approximately. This is more accurate, so you should probably use e. So that is exponential functions and the number e.